Gemini. Welcome back to Karma Light Readings. I'm Karma. I hope you guys are doing well. If you're new here, welcome. Please make sure that you subscribe, hit that notification bell. Um, if at any time you guys resonate with this reading, go ahead and hit the like button. Please use your spiritual discernment in determining what parts of this reading you resonate with. Um, whatever you don't resonate with, leave it for someone else. <clears throat> All right. If you're interested in a personal reading, the link to my website is in the description box below. You can also use the code YouTube for 15% off. All right. Let's go ahead and get um, some messages before we get started here and pull cards. What do we have for Gemini? Okay. So you have Psalms 118. When problems overwhelm or destroying satanic forces, you also have Psalms 119. This helps to keep promises made and cleanse the heart and mind. So I feel like you're very overwhelmed right now. I feel like you may be dealing with some sort of, um, clearly some sort of spiritual warfare here. And so Spirit is advising you to read and pray over Psalms 118 and Psalms 119 to help cleanse your energy and purify your senses so that you can really see in the spirit what's going on so that you can navigate um, more clearly, more specifically. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> All right, let's see for Gemini. Yeah, Mars. So there is some type of aggression or maybe you feel under pressure and under attack right now and you're needing to continue to move forward and defend yourself or protect your energy here. This could be in regards specifically to your self-worth. Um, yeah, this could be in regards to your self-worth and your possessions or even your like material possessions. The interesting thing is, I, I I feel like a situation is transforming for you, but right before I started recording, I had this overwhelming um, energy, and I said out loud, discovering what lessons your child your your child is here to learn so that you can give them the tools now i don't know how that connects with this but spirit is taking me back there so i don't know if you've been going through your childhood and your life and then looking at your children or just kind of seeing the ripple effect of decisions and and all of these you know inner child wounds all of these cycles generational curses that you need to heal that affect your physical security or your self-worth or the situations that you put yourself in or you know what i'm saying it's just really deep energy here that is in the process of transforming and so i feel like you're I feel like what's happening to you, Gemini, is on the outside, there could be a lot of conflict or friction between other people and your connections and relationships with them and how you guys interact and communicate. But on the inside, it's literally like you're unbecoming yourself. You're becoming someone new, especially with this Pluto energy here. And every day, your perception is evolving and transforming, which, let's be honest, when we're going through a spiritual awakening, it can be like really confusing at times, right? Because you begin to question yourself or your thoughts, right? But there's a particular situation where you are receiving divine support, divine guidance, divine assistance, divine help. in how to properly handle this situation. I don't quite know yet how to explain it. We're gonna try to get some tarot and see what's going on here. But it's like there's there's other situations that you're going to be able to allow them to fall off. I'm trying to make sense of the vision I'm seeing for you. But then there's this one particular issue or situation where you just have so much divine and angelic support around it because this situation is meant to transform and heal and, and stay with you, okay? It's just, for some reason, I feel like it's either under attack or not so much under attack as it is that it's that the whole situation and everyone involved is going through a major 
evolution, ascension, spiritual growth, right? So it, it gets it gets yucky and it gets difficult. Well, and there it is. So you have the book of Joshua to help us understand this. And that is um, the chosen one for the family lineage, okay? And so how crazy is this, Gemini? Because I had just said about recognizing what lessons or karma your children have to go through so that you can teach them now. And it literally says on this card, the importance of teaching and preparing your family for spiritual warfare down the line carrying on a deep ancestral family relationship with the divine stay committed trying times but you are changing the course of your lineage keep record yeah developing new spiritual attributes and gifts you have the book of matthew so you go from joshua to matthew that quick if anyone knows the bible joshua is in the beginning okay matthew is the first book of the new testament that's a that's like a really fast spiritual awakening, okay? Um, so no wonder you're going through a hard time. No wonder this Mars energy is here because you're tackling a very big, um, I just see like a cornerstone that needs to be transformed. This is something that's really held a root in your, in your family for a while that you're transforming. So it says developing new spiritual gifts. Focusing on being a blessing to others. Maybe recently you received a blessing from a stranger or God sent an angel into your life, Gemini, and it made you, it transformed your perception on a situation. Um, and so you are in the process of doing better to become better. You're disciplining yourself and your energy um, so that you can align to attract better energies. And yeah, with these spiritual attributes, these new spiritual gifts, you guys are going to be gaining um, new levels of spiritual discernment and wisdom and, and learning how to put up, you know, more boundaries and, and more grace and patience and all of those things that come with really healing and um, ascending and evolving in situations. All right, let's see here for Gemini, what is going on? Current energy around you is the Ace of Pentacles. You have the two of pentacles for what's coming towards you. The intentions of this two of pentacles is the four of cups. You need to focus on the six of pentacles. And the outcome is the five of cups. And then the bottom is perspective. It's everything that you are going through right now is to transform and and align your perception your mindset with a higher with a higher level in a higher dimension and in order for us to get there we have to go through some disappointment and some hard times um, that's what helps break us open and and make us determined to expand and change the course okay so on the bottom you have perspective eight of cups and the emperor with the um, Knight of Swords, which is determination, and the Ace of Cups. Okay, that's perfect because it really makes sense with what I was seeing up here. You are the leader. You're the leader of the pack, of your lineage. That's why the Emperor is here. And we that's clarified with Joshua as well. And then you have the Eight of Cups. So you are the one that is to um, lead your family out of this curse. You are the one to speak your truth and kind of stand your ground in what is right and what is wrong. You know, you might you might feel like the odd man out at times. Um, you might feel like you're alone at times in this situation or that everyone is against you. But I feel like maybe you recently hit like a proverbial wall on your spiritual journey. <clears throat> And that poured some type of focus or determination in you to heal it. And that's where the love is coming in because you chose to keep reflecting. You chose to keep forgiving. You chose to keep healing. Like you just wanted to keep going deeper because you knew that there had to be something more. You needed a change, whatever that, you know, however that manifested into your life. What is this Ace of Pentacles, please? So the current energy around you is wealth and abundance. I like that. 
because that right there lets me know that something has shifted in your energy for the energy of abundance and prosperity to be currently surrounding you. So this could show up in new opportunities. Mm, something's trying to attack it though. Wow. But look, the hand of God is here, okay? But look at what comes out to clarify your wealth and your abundance. Disturbance, curse, and schedule. Um, I think one of your biggest issues and tackles right now with the spiritual warfare that you're dealing with, Gemini, is it's going to be around an area that um, you're wanting abundance, right? And this is going to be different for all of you. For some of you, it could be a job. For some of you, it could be like oh, just stability overall. For some of you, it could be a pregnancy. For some of you, it's it's whatever is what you're wanting to fulfill your life at this moment or what you've been praying for. And it's under attack. But it's not under attack because you're not worthy of it. It's under attack because of how strong your faith is. It's upsetting the adversary. You understand what I'm saying? It's upsetting somebody, whoever has this spirit inside of them. And it doesn't even have to be another person that is sending you this energy. I, I kind of am getting the vibe, especially with the book of Joshua, that this is a generational curse, a pattern. Um, and sometimes what the curse is on in the physical doesn't align with what the curse is in the spiritual and that's what makes it so difficult in navigating you know what i'm saying and trying to really figure out what am i going after here what type of energy what type of spirit am i tackling um i feel as though what's taking place for you especially with the two of pentacles and then the four of cups next is in order to get rid of this and to defeat this spirit your guides they have to get you to a point where you become very apathetic to the situation and you just like you're just you're so kind of fed up even though that's too strong of a word for what's going on that you're okay with whatever happens right and so there's not this emotional tie or connection to it and that allows it the process to transform the issue with that is oftentimes when we get to that point, it does clearly look like an ending or like we're never going to see or talk to somebody again, which it is an ending, right? It's an ending of energy of a, of a cycle. And so the difficulty is, is when it's an ending, we want to be sad, but we have to try to remain neutral is what Spirit is saying. All right, you have the Two of Pentacles, Alliance, Real Estate, and Stubbornness and Perseverance. Um, I feel like somebody was really blind to the fact of how loyal you were to them or how much you just continued to stay around or stay investing in this situation. But, but it's like somebody's very arrogant and they just weren't seeing it. They just weren't seeing what you were pouring in. They just weren't seeing what you were doing. And now you come, you're at this energy or what's coming towards you is you need to make a decision with this two of pentacles. You need to make a decision about where you are going to invest your pure, loyal energy into because there's someone around you. And again, like I said, you could be the chosen one to speak up in your family and say something and nobody's listening to you. Okay. But you're needing, you, you have to make a decision in regards to how you're going to handle a certain situation where it looks like you're dealing with a great deal of stubbornness. Yeah. This person or situation is unstable. Are you going to continue to pour into it in close proximity where it drains you? Or are you going to release yourself and deal with it and pray over it from a, a safer distance? Yeah, brand new beginning. I feel like you're investing in yourself because, again, it's like doing better to become better. And somebody's just not seeing it. See, issues with immediate family. This is a, it's exactly what I'm tapping into. There's something going on with in your family. If it's not blood related, it's the people closest to you. And Spirit is saying you need to practice detachment. There's just, it's come a time. Like I said, it's going to look like an ending, right? But maybe it comes back around in the future to be healed. But right now, it's an end of a cycle. 
The intentions of this decision is to get you to go into a state of meditation or to pray over a situation to receive the proper direction and guidance. That's why you have the four of cups here because they need spirit, your guides, they need to shift your energy. But have you slowed down enough to give yourself a moment to just kind of sit in what's happening so that it can settle and, and, and spirit can come in and work with it? What is this for? Goal, collaboration, and evidence. Eternal love, calm, and blessing. It's exactly what I'm saying. The Holy Spirit is asking for you to, to take a moment. Your spirit guides and angels are asking you to take a moment and sit down and allow energy to settle so that you can receive guidance or so that the spirit can actually come into you and address what needs to be addressed. Like this evidence, they, 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 they need to shift your perception here. Yeah, they're going to enhance it. And I feel like something is going to change direction. And, and it's because whatever you're going to receive, this might be through a dream. This might be, you know, while you're awake, it's a vision, it's an aha moment. Whatever it is, you're going to receive some type of revelation or proof that helps you shift your perception to see a change in whatever this situation is that you're dealing with. Like whatever you expect to happen, Gemini, that's not what's happening. All right, what is the Six of Pentacles? So just focus on giving, right? We and we and that was even in the the card up there, the Book of Matthew. Focus on being a blessing to others, and that, I really feel like that's what the Six of Pentacles is. Approaching situations differently, and even when you're going through difficulties, you're still there. Mm, you have fury, compromise, and blind. I'm telling you. Oh, I went through, so spirit is showing me a time in my life I had to, where I was learning uh, the lesson of being humble, where I was over pouring myself into a situation and receiving just nothing positive in return. And it was an extremely humbling situation. And I was very angry for a while inside until I continued to, you know, uh, pray my way through this. And I started, as I prayed my way through the pain and the difficulty of what was taking place. Um, and this was not, you know, and a lot of us were in situations and it's like, why don't you just leave that? Um, and I don't know why spirit is leading me to share this with you, Gemini. So maybe it has something to do with your story, but the, um, this was a situation I couldn't leave. My mother was dying of cancer and I was her, uh, care provider. I was also a single mother of three. I was the only one paying bills for all of us. And, um, she just was not, unfortunately, she was very, very, um, angry and upset that she was dying. So it, she wasn't uh, fun to deal with. And she was very, very disrespectful. And it was so hard for me to do all of these things for her. And I was doing them from a place of love, but I was getting hate back, okay? Um, and so Spirit is showing me that as I look at this for you. And it's just making me feel like Spirit wants you to continue to in this situation where you're so frustrated because you can clearly see what is taking place. Um, understand that you're being used in a multitude of ways right now by God in this situation. Um, it does seem like a lesson of humbling, but for the other person who's just blind, they're just spiritually blind right now as to what's going on. This is a situation where God is using you to help open them. And I feel like it's about staying committed to the mission at hand. Although it's very, very difficult, there is going to be a positive outcome in the long run. Um, I just see where spirit is asking you to focus on your anger and don't, don't pour into or invest so much into that energy of anger and frustration in regards to the compromising situations that this person keeps putting you in. Um, <clears throat> and I'm not saying accept complete and total disrespect. I don't, don't misunderstand what I'm saying, but I'm saying try not to let the spiritual warfare of that situation absorb into you and affect you where you can no longer see 
um, the light of what's taking place and see it from a higher perception and know that you're in the middle of a challenge and a battle and, and handle it spiritually as well as physically, right? So that you can navigate yourself out of it much quicker. Yeah, because you have idea down here. So it's like some, like I said, some type of revelation or aha moment is going to be given to you. It's going to help you see what you need to do in a situation. Yeah, let go and let God. It's like you're finally understanding how to do that. We say that statement for so long, right? Let go and let God. And then one day we finally figure out how to really do it and our life changes. Somebody's hiding their feelings for you. They do want to be with you. Wow, yeah, they want a family with you and they want to be with you. Call Yeshua into your heart to shine light on darkness. But see, this person is lying to you. Dark entities are around and or attached. And then it said family trauma. This cycle has ended. So again, you're in the process of dealing with a really deep uh, generational curse. It's not easy. It requires you to show up for battle spiritually as well as physically here in the 3D. Why is this here, please? What is this five of cups? I mean, the way to get out of it is gonna, it is gonna be through pain and disappointment. So if there's something that comes to an end here, yeah, five of cups with sweet dreams, introvert, origin, and confinement. I feel like, again, when we when we were talking about it in the beginning with your perception changing, I just, I feel like the overall message and what Spirit is saying right now is don't let yourself become captive of your own mind, okay? You're in the process of going through a, a very quick and sudden, fast spiritual awakening you, from Joshua to Matthew. That's quick, okay? Um... And part of the fight when you're awakening is the illusions and the fear that keep getting in the way to tell you that what you're doing is wrong or to tell you that you're on the wrong path or to tell you that you're worthless, whatever it is. But that's also because you're the leader. And so you keep looking for somewhere to go or someone to help you or for someone to give you some type of guidance. And there isn't anyone there because you're the first to do this in your family. And so that's why when we're the, the, the chosen one to heal that an ancestral lineage, that's why it's such a spiritual thing because the, the only place for you to go is to the divine. It's to get down on your knees and go into a state of meditation and prayer and connect with the higher power, source, God, your creator, so that he can lead you in the direction that you need to go because it's not easy. It's not easy. And I see you kind of pulling back your energy and being disappointed that you have to do that in a situation, but it is to help set you free. And whatever it is that looks like it's ending, I'm also being shown that it has to reach this point of ending in order to get them to follow, okay? It has to reach an ending in order to get them to, to follow. So take that however that resonates for you yeah someone is guilty third eye chakra pay attention to your dreams your visions your intuition shadow work dark night of the soul is definitely not easy god is stretching you exercise and pisces energy here so there's a lot of things hidden within your solar plexus hidden within your self-worth um, and how you feel and, and all of those things about yourself and what you can create um, that's being attacked or that's being dealt with that's coming up to the surface for you to deal with and heal. And a lot of those perceptions and beliefs about yourself were implemented and programmed into you when you were a child. Okay? Um, so that's where you're at right now, my darling Gemini. Let's get some closing messages real quick and see what does Gemini need to know. You have Opal. Imagine rainbow opportunities. I can do it. It is possible. Lapis lazuli. Take a hold and embrace healing on all levels. Lapis's healing properties can summon love and dismantle hardship with respect to illness as well. And then you have rose quartz. This gem is love. Hold this near your heart when you wish to open it. You have the numbers 28, 25, 34 and 29 orange calcite 
Use this in communication with others to voice your thoughts clearly. Take time to articulate well and have channels open between you and the ones you are speaking with. All right, Gemini, I love you guys so much. I'll see you soon. Bye.